Hey, what's up, y'all? Dylan here with Golden State RC Adventures. So I participated in FMS Models Christmas giveaway, and I won. I won a 112th Type 82 Kuba Wagon from Rock Hobby, which is cool because I already have the Rock Hobby Fire Horse, and I love it. So hopefully I can get some good scale videos and uh, fun out of this Kuba Wagon, too. I had a buddy tell me that I thought was funny and I might actually do, uh, he said get the, get a, a figurine of, of Brad Pitt from Inglorious Bastards. I said, you know what, there probably is one and I probably will do that because that's hilarious. So don't be surprised in the future if you see Brad Pitt from Inglorious Bastards driving this rig around. I for sure will be getting drivers. Here we go. There should also be some uh, gears for my power wagon because I finally blew the plastic hub gears, or the portal hub gears. And I got the metal ones while I was at it, so hopefully they're in here. They're supposed to be in here too, but it doesn't look like there's much room for anything in here. So I'm gonna have to hit them up for my gears. It's an interesting little printout. Standard precautions for Type 82. Type 82 enjoys high re reputation in the history of automotive development. Structures, historic, blah, 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 blah. It's got little nifty features, how to remove the windshield or something or other, it looks like. Uh, grass is spare tire. Use a little force to push your torso open the front cover. Interesting. Um, the real car in relation. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow, that's a nifty little printout they included. Information about the Type 82 Kuba Wagon and precautions about it. Here it is. Rock Hobbies, 112th Type 82 Kuba Wagon. The 112th Kuba Wagon RC model presents itself in midterm to take you back to war torn oh look at that that's cool they did include <laughs> they did include my portal gears for my uh, for the um, power wagon that's good that will be in another video where I replace the portal hub gears because that needs to be that needs to happen FCX 24 portal axle metal gear set Get that power wagon back in action. I have a, a, a WJ body that I use for it. Let gravity do the work. There you have it. There's the back. Well, let's start with the front here. Rock hobby. 112 Type 82 Kuba Wagon, the same kind of slips, slip cover with the styrofoam box that they all come in. The Rock Hobbies and the FMS products come in. More little pictures. Where'd that back go with all the details? Oh, here we go. Four wheel drive, independent suspension, rear four wheel axis. If you want, you can pause on that list. Uh, this new camera that I got for Christmas, that, which is what I'm testing with right now, should be 4K. 30 frames per second video so if you can't pause and read all that then uh, apparently need to change the settings or do something with that in order for you to pause and read all that such a tiny screen I can't tell if it's readable or not but hopefully it is should be legible oh and there's the other side pictures let's let the sucker slide on out oh nice little booklet like a like an actual case would you look at that it's got like a little switch little switches here looks like you click them in and and releases it if you didn't catch that you see these buttons here click 
the insides of them and it opens right up. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like there's a big old hole here. I don't know if something's missing there or if uh, something even is supposed to belong there, but there's nothing in there. I don't know what that's for, but the car and the, the transmitter's here. So just like the FMS and Rock Hobby, uh, the Power Wagon and the Fire Horse that I have, it's the same uh, transmitter. It's got the uh, drag and all the uh, switches here right on the face, which is good. And wow, so it kind of feels like these seats are uh, got a little fabric cover on them. Um, the floor has a little wooden, it's got some weight to it. It's pretty cool. There's an example of that independent suspension right there. You can see one flex and the other one doesn't even phase it. That's pretty cool. Pretty scale right there. Um, supposedly these doors are lockable, which I'll have to figure out. Oh, just look at that. Opened right up. Just had to turn the handle, just like a real car. Just like the real Kuba wagon. I'll have to figure out this stuff here. Figure out the windshield, figure out this. But, uh, there you have it. The scale Type 82 Kuba Wagon by Rock Hobby, uh, given away to me from a FMS model for the Christmas giveaway. See, down, you want to turn them down, turn them down, turn those handles down is how you open them. And there you have it. Um, the wheel is supposed to be actually functioning wheel. Um, we'll have to see that in the test run video. Actually lock these. So supposedly there's uh, uh, the, uh, the motor back here too, which it looks like there is. You can see all the, all the electronics in there, which is cool to make it run. Can't wait to see that bad boy running and figure out how it really works. But there you have it. Very simple, ready to run, so they say. Um, I'll have to find out where the battery goes. Apparently, here's a little cargo area. It's nifty. I guess. Okay, let's, uh, uh oh. There's a spring in here. I just found that sitting, sitting in the bottom. I don't know if that's important or not, <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might see where it might go, or it could go on one side where it lacks. Oh yeah, here we go. Right out of the box, there's something to see if we can point this out. So I just found this spring in the bottom. This spring here. Just found that here. Let me drop the batteries. Apparently, here's the battery and charger and a wrench. So just found this spring, bottom of the box. And I look at the front end, and let me get a let me get a little stick here so I can point at it. Okay, here we go. So I look in here and I see the spring here on this side. Let's see if I can get the camera shot at it. The spring right here, spring in the steering, holding that second a second uh, arm on for the steering. Not sure if that can be seen, but there's a little spring in there. That's where that spring goes. And then did you look at this? Did you look at that? Straight out of the box like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so I uh, guess I'll have to do some work on it right out of the box. That's a bummer. Um, it looks like there's either a screw missing here or it came out. It looks kind of looks like there's just a screw missing. It's like they got to that part and they just threw the spring in there and said, all right, ship it. And maybe that's a good reason why it was on sale because they were finding that some of them were lacking these items. They weren't fully assembled before put into the box, apparently. 
hopefully it still runs right. I wonder if that has to do with how much play the the other side has. Cause that's pretty wild right there. I'm not so sure about that rock hobby. I like those nice si soft uh, tires though. As you can see, they're wicked skinny. Let's see, it doesn't look like anything's missing from the rear. As far as I could tell, at least. Seems like both springs work just fine. But yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and see if I can't figure this out. That was the unboxing of the uh, Christmas giveaway uh, prize gift that I got from FMS Model. Um, pretty sweet as far as the scale detail goes, obviously, as you can see. Um, when I figure out how to open the rest of it, that will be in the next video when we uh, when we fix that steering. Fix that steering arm. Hopefully I have a screw that will fit for it and hopefully that solves the problem. Put that spring in there somehow and hopefully that solves the problem. I didn't see the screw. I mean, there's no screw in here. I'll be I'll keep looking for the screw. But it's not in here. That's it for now.